This episode is going to be ultra exciting and interesting because I'm going to witness some things that I've never seen before in my life and I'm very sure a lot of you also have not seen this before. I'm here at Tipping Club but before I test the food, I'm going to go upstairs to bin 38 where it is their private dining space come R&D Test Kitchen. So we're here now at the food lab of chef come owner Ryan Clift and this is his so first dish I'm going to do for you today is an interpretation of my mother's cauliflower cheese. So start off, we've got baby cauliflower, vacuum sealed, with a little bit of olive oil. This is a water bath, and that's going to sit in there for about 10 minutes. Next up, we're going to make our cheese sauce. A little bit of milk, grated parmesan cheese, fresh thyme. This is black truffle. I'm just going to grate this. I'm going to stir that in. Normal cheese sauce would be cooked on the stove, yeah? We're going to do this in a very different machine over here. This is a sound homogenizer. Sound is being forced through the liquid. Sorry again, you use sound wave to cook. Sound wave. Essentially, this is going to homogenize the mixture. We're developing all the glutamate flavors in the cheese. The sound is so aggressive, it's actually going to reverberate off of all the small mass that we put in. Blend them into the liquid, but at the same time, strip all the flavor out and put it into the milk. Absolutely. I understood every part of that. Did you? <laughs> Up here, we have a lot of different white powders. We're going to use here PXG. This is a perfected xanthan gum. This is a thickening agent, a powder that gels on contact with water, all right? This is made from the fermentation of the bacteria found in cabbage, okay? <laughs> so, doesn't... I'm trying to catch doesn't up. Have, doesn't have any smell. Mm. Add 0.25 grams of perfected xanthan. Suppose okay. if you put 26 or 30... It's, it's gonna end up like a glue. We're 25 ready. Yep, thank you very much. Sorry. I'm a very good scientist, okay? All right, that's been going for about, what, three minutes now? Take the mixture out. This is a, a magnetic stirrer. It's my little magnet. See the mixture moving? It's creating a vortex. We're just gonna shear this in. After about 20 minutes is a beautiful, thick cheese sauce. I'm gonna grab my cauliflower. Okay. Smell that. I don't throw away the sauce. You can drink. <laughs> really, you see so much sauce wasted. See the smell? Yeah. It smells like chicken or... It's very rich and intense. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna put some sand homogenized cheese sauce, black truffle. I'm just gonna nappe over... Nappe, do you know what is nappe? Cover. Cover. Nappe, we learn a new word. You have some roasted puccini, dried shimiji, puccini chips, dried cauliflower and uh, wild pea. That's essentially it. That is my mum's cauliflower cheese. We're gonna try it downstairs, right? Yeah, we're gonna eat this in a minute. So the next dish is foie gras apple. To start with, this is a rotary evaporator. It reduces things under vacuum. This is the condenser. You can see in here all the water that's been collected. That is the water content of the apple juice. So all that's left in here is the pure flavour. Wow. Yeah. It smells like lemon. This is almost like an apple acid. We have some puree. We're now going to add produced apple juice. This is Ultratex 4. This is a modified starch that allows us to thicken things. Why don't you use the one just now before? The SPG. The xanthan gum. Xanthan gum yes. won't get it to the consistency that I want. You see it's starting to thicken. Nice gel consistency. Next, our biscuit. This is really dark brown sugar. A little bit of our xanthan gum. Egg white. A little pinch of salt. Smear. Okay. I'm just going to pop this in the oven for about five minutes. I'll bring it back. So far, I hope that you all can catch up because it's all very scientific and very delicate and intense because I cannot catch up. So maybe you all can leave comments later and, and explain to me more things, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Come back already, come back already. All right, next up is our foie gras. The foie gras itself is raw, bathed in cognac and salt, and then we puree it to form a really beautifully whipped butter with just a little bit of salt. Put this into a piping bag, like so. I just feel like it's very wasted. <laughs> That's for me, for later. Oh, okay. Spin it so it goes all the way down. Once again, science, centrifugal force. Yes, law of gravity. Exactly. Oh, I know one thing. Biscuit ready. By the magic powers of television, we've rolled them up. This is going to add texture to the dish. So, pipe foie gras, apple puree, wedges of fresh apple, wedges of freeze-dried apple, apple chip, wolf fret biscuit, sorrel. That's it, essentially. Foie gras apple. Next course, goat's curd. In here, I have hay. How you put hay in? Fresh hay. So that's been sonified now to strip all the flavors of the hay into the goat's milk. Now you can smell there's like a really sweet, almost smoky sort of note coming from the hay. So we're gonna add fresh lime, fresh lemon juice. Oh, I see the texture changing. It starts to curdle. Now we've got to get that out. This is a Buchner funnel that uses cold water to create the vacuum. I'm gonna take a little filter paper into my funnel. You can hear it. Sucking. sucking. I'm gonna add my curd mixture to my paper. The curd is sitting on top. Underneath is the whey. 
After a good half an hour, we end up with a very soft curd. This is leek ash. Baby leeks, we char grill them till they go jet black. The ash is adding a very nice salty characteristic to it. Curd, my potato, my curd. Baby pickled onions, mustard seed, puree of watercress, different wild herbs. That's it, there you go. It's so beautiful. All right, we have finished our science project. <laughs> and now we are ready to taste the food. We get all the flavors of the truffle. Those mushrooms add a beautiful sweetness. And what is really impressive is the cauliflower is still crunchy. I love the flavors. It's the best tasting cauliflower I've eaten in my life, and I don't even like cauliflower. Okay, so the next dish is foie gras with apples. Let's try a little bit of that. Mm, the aftertaste. Green apple? Yes. Yeah. An apple tasting plant. Yeah. Smash the biscuit. Make sure you get a little bit of biscuit, a little bit of foie, a little bit of apple texture, whichever apple flavor you want. With each minute, you can stop now. Oh, sorry. What is interesting is with different apples that I mix with, it gives a different mm. twist. Yeah. It's just so complex the taste. The texture is like butter, and it almost don't feel like foie gras. This foie gras is a little bit lighter, more delicate, and more palatable in comparison to other foie gras that's very gelat. Do you know what's gelat? Gelat is the you eat already like that's it. You cannot eat anything else, or you feel like throwing up sometimes. I've this learned a new word today. Gelat. 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 Like. And this is the instant goat's curd. It's got an oaky aftertaste, like yep. some wine, like a lot of goat's cheese. It's very pungent. This one is lightly tasting. At the same time, it smells good. Yep, tastes good. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. And if you know of any food you should feature on this show, please leave a comment below or hashtag your Instagram photos with Click Network Food Pod. And I've said this many, many times, so if you've not already done so, please download our Click Network app. It's free for Apple, Android, and even Xiaomi phones. That's it. Goodbye. And please give us all the suggestions you have. And for those of you, uh, put already many many times we haven't go yet please give us some time okay there's only one of me and one stomach cheers